first open Microsoft Excel. You have three worksheets already. You're going to want to right click on worksheets three and two and delete. All right, then you're going to go to page layout and choose background. You're going to browse for a picture on your computer. and insert. Right now we're going to adjust our grid lines to make them more square. So we'll take, we'll go to the cells pane, format, row height, let's go with 25. Okay, that makes them a little more square. Okay, as you can see we have many copies of the picture and we only want one. So we're going to go to the first cell that goes on to the new picture and we're going to select it. Then we'll hit shift, end, right arrow. That is going to select all of the cells to the right of that. And what we'll do is we'll go to format, hide and unhide. And we're going to hide all of these columns. Okay, that's taking care of the cells to the right. Now we're going to get rid of all of the cells below the picture. So we'll select the first row of the new picture and we'll hit shift, end, down arrow. And that's going to select all of the cells below that row. And we'll again go to format, hide and unhide. And this time we're going to hide the rows. Okay, and now we have only our picture. Now we can start inserting our comments. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to a cell that contains the picture we want to comment on, or the part of the picture that we want to comment on. Right click, insert comment, and it starts with the administrator, but we can delete that and just type, for example, la dona. And then just click on the next cell. Um, right click. Insert comment, la moneda, let's do las monedas. To see your comments, all you have to do is put your cursor in the cell that has a red arrow that indicates a comment, and your comment pops up. If you want to get a little more detailed, we can make our cells smaller. So we, I selected all, and we'll go to row height and do maybe five. It's going to make it really small. And then go to column width and do maybe three. So I've adjusted my grid lines to be smaller so I can be a little more precise. And I can select all of the cells that contain the part of the image that I want to comment on. And where it says alignment, just hit merge and center. And now anywhere that I touch that image, my comment will pop up. So here I'll comment. Las monedas. If you don't like the look of the grid lines, you go to view and uncheck this box that says grid lines. And now you have a clear view of your picture and your comments will still pop up anywhere there's a red arrow.